See this? Yeah. Look, look, do this. Try to keep your legs as straight as you can. There you what? go. What? You feel it? Why? Why? Because this, this way you'll get your hams loose. All right, here we go. Are we, do, do we talk at the camera like? That's what I'm just saying. Like Mike Rowe? So we're going to talk right there. And in Tanner's buddy. What's his name? I don't know. You're going to look right in there. And then. That's me? And that's you? You know what? Just look at me. How do I look? You look, you look weird as hell. But you always do. You got your hair in your face. Well, it's a shield. Action. Here we are on the precipice of an amazing shopping spree. It's a heist of sorts. Did you hear that dog? That this is being point. documented for a potential direct to HBO release. And I've got my uh, ex-stepson Tanner here who will remain silent. I don't feel good. Everything's gonna be shot, and then they're gonna fix it later. Tanner's gonna give you a blur job. We are currently standing on the precipice of one recently deceased M Mr. Old Man Morgan's house. Mr. Old Man Morgan, uh, he's a rich man in town. He has, he's died. And um, there's gonna be an estate sale. Before that, his three children are gonna come in. They're gonna pick over everything but we are gonna pick over everything before that, right now. And we're gonna bring you along on the ride of a lifetime in search of the brown diamond. Apparently, it's worth a million dollars, and that old man has got that thing in there. Welcome to our little adventure. Come here, come I am so glad I stretched. Sandy, I took unpaid time off from this. We have a big sale at McNeil Sports Ball going right now. Look at this. You get one big kickball, get our, our biggest kickball, you, you get three of the smallest kickballs. I came up with a thing. Give I'm, me the wire cutter. I'm missing the commissions. So maybe this is the one we need to cut. That might be the main power. We got to find, what is that? We got to find some sort of security, security wire. Cut the right thing. Don't know why, sir. I'll be damned. Look at horse. He's already contributing to the project. <laughs> hey! Hey, y'all! What, 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 what are you doing? Excuse me! We are here! Ain't nobody here. I'm putting my nuts on the coffee table. I'm using my nuts to play the piano. This is for HBO, so just yuck it up a little bit. This is our place. Uh-huh. This is our house yes, right now. right, see? Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, Rest in peace, Morgan. You wouldn't rub your balls on a, on something if you if it wasn't if it wasn't you? yours and you. Uh, this is it's like we, we were we're like this is uh, this is for this for us today. This isn't for Mr. Morgan anymore. Look at this. Right there. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. Oh no. no oh, yeah, that's, look that's at a that. child. Look at that. <laughs> that's a cherub. Damn. Okay. All right. Yeah, I should. I couldn't get it. I didn't see it clearly. I didn't see it. Now I see it. I feel bad about it. Could you take it? Could you oh, cut that? Cut that out. out. I don't want that in there. I've seen this in the movies. You hit the right one and what are you doing? A door will open somewhere. You see any blood? Actually, you'd most likely see shit. When somebody dies, they let their bowels loose everywhere. We're gonna divide this place up into a grid and then go in a southwesterly rotational motion so as to make sure that we uh, can cover every square inch of this domicile in search and uh, eventual finding of the diamond of brownness. We know, we know we've, got, we've got to fuel up. We got to fuel up. You, 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 you can't, we, we, food is fuel. I, what do you think I got in here? I got everything that we need to get into the, to, to put it together nutritionally. I don't even know. It's like you're speaking another language. Okay, I brought your thing here. Two percent. There you go. Three Jolly Ranchers for glucose. Good and God. I, and I got grape because I know that's your favorite flavor. Put all three in. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put all three in. You remember in kindergarten, I bring that big old bag full of Jolly Ranchers and you'd take it. You take all the great ones out, because that's your favorite flavor. I like a good grape. Well, it's my, it's, you know, it's my favorite flavor, too. Is that right? Yeah. I kind of am. 
Yeah, I like them too. Hmm. Okay, now we move on to, um, this is uh, seaweed, it's got iodine in it. Protects you from radiation in case anything goes wrong with Sharon Harris, which is about 30 miles from here. Let's take care of that. Of course, I ain't eating this shit. You ever seen somebody get radiation poisoning? No. You do not want to see it. Don't look, don't do, definitely do not Google it. Damn! Now, don't you feel better? No! Tastes like I'm having kind of lingers with the ocean, man. I don't like the way you put things sometimes. <laughs> ah. Okay, but now. Grandma, come on! Get your gober! Hey, Tanner, you talked to your mama lately? Did she say anything about me? Just nod your head. The next step is a uh, Tijuana Mama pickle sausage <laughs> wrapped up in bologna. I call it a protein rocket. <laughs> Strawberry gogurt for probiotics. Go straight to your brain. And to finish it all off, two to one ratio Mountain Dew to V8, I call it Mountain 8. Oh, but you know what? I forgot the most important step. One teaspoon of blackstrap molasses. The search continues. Actually, the search starts. The search starts. Each one of these charms on here represents something that, I'm, that frightens me. Uh, you see that horseshoe right there? Sandy and I love to go down to the lake. Uh, uh, he loves to play horseshoes. And we were down there and some kids just took the pole, you know, and he was like, can you stand in and beat a pole? And I, you know, I was like, oh, sure. First my shins got beat up pretty bad. And then he, he was getting a little tipsy and threw one a little bit high. This whole, that whole side of my, all of my teeth are fake on that side. So I don't, I'm not a big fan of horseshoes. How do you, oh. <gasps> Look at her. <sighs> Whoops. You see this one right here is a crab. See that crab? I've never made love to a woman. I've had the opportunity once, and it was um, one of those topless maids. Uh, Sandy got me for my birthday, my 30th birthday. It's not that I didn't want to, but she was doing such a good job of cleaning it, I didn't want to interrupt her. She said, for an extra $100, I'll polish your doorknob. And uh, <clears throat> I got the message, but uh, you know, even if you wear a condom, even if you wear two condoms, you can still get several STDs, including crabs, because those they're in your, your pubes. So that represents my fear of sexual intercourse. I do like the idea of it though. My nanny, she'd always said, boy, you like to plunder. Boy, you like, that's what she'd call it. When I would go through all of her drawers. Cut out that part about me going through my nanny's drawers. I don't want people to think I go through my nanny's drawers. She called me cricket legs for the longest time. Then she started calling me cricket because I, I had this thing where I just rubbed my legs together like a cricket. It got to a point where I had a lot of chafing. A lot of chafing. It's, it's, it's Sandy's a, he's a, he's a passionate guy, you know? Uh, I, I, it's sort of like he's he's moving in fast forward and the world's moving in slow motion, you know? Sometimes, I mean, I feel like if, if I had as, as many thoughts in my head as, as he does, I'm a, I get frustrated too, you know? And he's he's been through a lot. A lot of people don't know this, but, um, you know, his mom and daddy had a, a, a dairy farm when he was born and he was a real difficult baby. Um, he was just biting things, pissing on things. He'd shit everywhere. And uh, they, you know, he'd take his diaper off and shit on things. And his daddy just just left because he couldn't handle it. And his mom was stuck with that dairy farm and that little baby, little 18 month old Sandy. And there was one time she was out there just milking a cow. She'd keep him on the side in a little stroller or maybe a little playpen or something while she was doing that. She was milking a cow and she just up and died. We don't know what it was. They couldn't afford an autopsy or anything like that. Aneurysm, stroke, I don't know, but real sad, she died. Anyway, 10 days later, the authorities show up 
and they find, well, they find her, she's dead, 10 days dead, and they find little Sandy just as fat and happy as an 18 month old boy could be walking around. He had been suckling that heifer himself. And that's one of the, that's one of the reasons I keep this bag for him because this is the most utter like camel bag that I could find, full of milk. See, this thing. You see that it's just like the teeth. But sometimes when he's when he's going through a difficult time and he's getting short with me like he just did, I, the thing I remember is that boy was raised by a cow for a week and a half. I got a landscape business by day. I'll cut you grass for free. I cut many people. Elderly people, um, down and out people, I'll, I'll, I'll cut their grass for free because I just, I love it. And they know that I'm coming because I'm, I'm riding my snapper right down, right down the middle of the road. I love cars, but I can't legally drive them. I will not take a test. I will not take a LSAT. I will not take a, a STD test. I will not be tested. Um, so... Without a driving test, you cannot have a license and drive without a light. All the police know me. Pooch! You know what? I should, I should probably get to help him. He sticks out in the crowd, don't he? He's, uh, he's a handful. He's weird. He's weird as all get out, but uh, he's the only one I got, honestly. So, uh, He's a good boy. He's a fart smeller. I mean, a smart feller. <laughs> and hey, don't you make a fool out of him. Uh, this one's a puzzle piece. Oh, well, you may notice my puzzle tattoo. It's just a little signifier of how much I'm into puzzles. S Sandy was dating this girl, uh, this real smart girl who worked at the college, she, uh, at the convenience store at the college. And he was trying to impress her uh, with puzzles and he well which meant that he would get me to do the puzzles I glue them together and I give them to him and he give them to her boy am I into puzzles I am so smart at making puzzles 500 thousand we did a thousand piece puzzle and 1500 five thousand and then we went to five thousand piece I believe one time I did a twenty five thousand piece puzzle and then he got me a fifty thousand piece puzzle and uh I hold myself up in the attic, and I, I started it in September 2012, finished it about Easter 2013. I got down to 130 pounds, but I finished it, uh, and then he, he had broken up with her around Christmas. And this commemorates that. Here we go, though. Nothing. Well, shit. This is an apple because I'm scared of Mac computers because I find them too beautiful. This is a hot air balloon because I, I'm not scared of being in one. I'm scared of one coming down on me. This is Florida because I'm scared of peninsulas because there's only one way out. Damn it to hell. How hard is it to find a diamond? Oh, God. This is my only charm that's not associated with a fear. It, it's an American flag in the shape of a heart given to me by my best friend at work at McNeil's Sports Balls, Brandy. She gave it to me because she knows how much I love America. That's a shiny thing, but it ain't no diamond. Comey always told me I wasn't worth shit. It's my favorite country. I mean, I've never, I've never been to another country, but I don't want to go. I love America. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> and horse, horse is not doing shit. Oh, this is cool. Pool. <laughs> Would you hide a diamond in a pool pocket? Probably not. Look at this. <laughs> Mr. Morgan with a fine guitar. You know, Sandy and I used to used to do a little singing. <laughs> you know what? I'll sing you a song that 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 we wrote and performed for the high school talent show. It got us runner up. Okay, all right. I can't find a diamond. I can't get Connie back, and I can't make a movie. This is all bullshit. How does the crow fly? Clouds is my greatest wish. How does the bass swim? I would love to ask him or her, but I don't 
speak fish I'm stuck inside a man's body I'll never fly So I'll just do karate Inside this man's body How you doing, Pooch? I'm, I'm scared. I'm still scared. You know what? Let's just go, man. Let's just go. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I don't even think it's here. I shouldn't have drug you into this anyway. Oh, okay. It was fun. Well, hold on a second. Sandy. Horse. Look at this door. It's no. time to go. No, we man. haven't been in here. Look. What the shit? Good Lord. <laughs> That's a secret room. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Last will and testament? <laughs> Holy shit. I don't man. know about you, but I think we should put that DVD in this TV. Hell yeah. <laughs> If you are seeing this, it means that I am dead. The manner of my death is not important. What's important is that I had a long and fruitful life, and you remember that. I like this guy. And now, to the business at hand. My dear children, Frank, Francesca, and Frankie. I remember them. I trust that you are pleased as punch that I finally bit the dust. If it's any consolation, I never liked you very much either. Hmm. But I did love each and every one of your mothers. Francesca the most, oh. obviously, and Frankie's the least, of course. Now then, during the late 1970s, I was traveling across Vietnam, working underground to advise the few North Vietnamese holdouts on how they could restart the war. How did you do? That's what I found it. The Bahau Moon. An artifact of such beauty and wonder that I had to have it. I'm sure you have never seen anything like it because they don't sell this sort of thing at Walmart. She but inside you'll find a treasure. At the heart of the Bahau Moon is an enormous brown diamond. Brown diamond. You were right. According to my latest issue of Gems and Ammo magazine, it is currently worth $1.4 million. <laughs> Significantly more when you are watching this. To realize the value of the Bahau Moon, you must solve this riddle. To be shared between three, the heart must not be free. But the damage is done if the heart is given to one. Good luck, and may God rest my soul. Hell yeah, it's here. Well, we gotta find that boom, boom, boom. Brandy. Brandy? Hey, y'all. Hey, what's that camera doing? Why do y'all have cameras? Did you tell her? Well, I, yeah, I tell Brandy everything. Brandy, I tell you everything. I wish you wouldn't. Your breath smells like cheese. I told you, I told you we were, what we were doing. Why are you here? You can't tell me about no brown diamond think I'm not gonna go get it. She's got the diamond. Hey, no, I don't. Stop! Stop! Stop. Oh. I, I was joking. Oh. Come on now. Uh, 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 uh. Tickle monster. I got monster. it. Oh, monster. Monster. Don't, don't you do that. You I quit. got the diamond. You quit. I got the diamond. Yeah. I got it. Don't I got it. Let go, pretty boy. You got soft hands. I'm stuck. Welcome to my world, genius. I've been stuck here for a while. Hey, hey, I, hey, I, hey. I, I know what's going on. What I know what's hell? going on. It's the riddle. It, the, the, uh, old, old man Morgan said, uh, we, uh, share between three. That means I got to put my hand in too. And I think we'll be able to get it out. Okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! I got it! I got it! <coughs> Put it back! Get out Put of here! Put it back! Put it back inside! 
Oh, oh, I get it now. This whole thing is a booby trap. If one person takes out the diamond, the other two people get gassed. <gasps> I was in hell. I was in hell. It smelled like shit. We figured it out. If one person takes the diamond out, the other two people get gassed. But then we got to take the diamond and you got to just walk out of here. Screw you, pretty boy. I'm walking out here with that damn diamond. No, 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 no. Listen, you got to let go of the diamond. We all got to yeah. let go of the diamond and we can all get out, okay? All Sandy, right. let go of the diamond. Let go of the diamond, Sandy. Come on. All right. All right. I'm gonna let go, but you better pull out. I will. I'll pull out. Three, two, one. Hey, look at that. Oh shit, I left my charm bracelet in there. Are you I left shit, my charm man? bracelet in this asshole. I gotta get it. No, I gotta get don't it. do I gotta it. Get it. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Oh, damn it, I'm stuck. Don't you remember? But I can feel my bracelet. Hey, look, but look, all you gotta do is stick your hands in there and I can pull my bracelet out. No. Randy, just remember all the good times we had together. I remember very little. I'm on a lot of drugs. Randy, please, 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 just for old time's sake, please stick your hand in Here's the deal. If you promise to never work another shift with me in my whole goddamn life, I'll put my hand in that hole. But that's one of the highlights of my week is organizing the shuttle cars. It's a with deal. You. As long as I have director's cut. Hey, count me into that. Three. Two, one. You stupid sass and shit. <coughs> Tanner, save yourself. Oh my God. I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tanner. Even worse. <coughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I, that I took all the great Jolly Ranchers when we were kids. It's okay. <laughs> I know you loved them. I know you loved them more than I did. <laughs> 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 